Fargo students traded in their pens and papers for rakes and garbage bags this afternoon. Dakota High School students got to step out of the classroom and give back to the community. They were out and about raking up leaves in neighborhood yards. They hit three homes near Agassiz over the course of about two hours. It feels pretty good. It feels good to be outside a classroom too. Uh, it feels good to help out the community just a little bit, you know, here and there. That's really cool. The school's positive behavior technician handed out flyers earlier this week to find people who needed their yards cleaned up. Deer hunting season opened today in North Dakota at noon. It opens tomorrow for those in Minnesota. And as more and more hunters get out into the fields, there are some things for you to keep in mind. Experts say to make sure someone knows where you are at all times and to, of course, check in with someone who you think you're going to be out later than usual. Also, we are bright colors. We're the blaze orange. We're yellow, even some pinks. There are must when you're out in the field. DNR conservation officer Justin Frisch says the most common injury they see during hunting season may surprise you. Hunting is a safe activity and it's up to every hunter to keep it that way. Um, one of the most common injuries associated with hunting is when a hunter falls out of a deer stand. Um, so uh, paying special attention, making sure that their equipment is in good working order, um, focus when they're climbing in and out of the stand. Officials also ask hunters to check their shack's heating systems. Minnesota Energy Resources says a quick check can prevent a dangerous buildup of carbon monoxide. Officials say the best way to stay safe is installing a carbon monoxide detector. Coming up next in sports, after another road loss for the North Dakota football team, they look to bounce back, but there's a tough test coming to the Alara Center this weekend. We preview that matchup in the red zone next.